IndOT wants to expand the four lanes you see here along Rockville Road to six lanes. They say it's their way of dealing with congestion problems, but some residents who live along this road say it won't fix congestion, but just add to the traffic going by their homes every day. They said trans Can you imagine now three more lanes doing that? For more than 40 years, Karen Farmers lived with the sounds of traffic right outside her front door along Rockville Road just west of 465. She's worried it's about to get worse with a proposed expansion of a three-mile stretch that runs right by her door. Indot's in charge of the project called Modern Rockville Road and says it will make the area safer. There is nothing safe about pulling out of your driveway onto a six-lane highway. The proposal also calls for a median in the center, preventing drivers from turning left and cutting across the road, which Farmer says will only lead to more traffic along side streets in the neighborhoods behind the corridor. And the neighborhood does not want this. So I'm hearing phone calls, emails, a lot of folks are particularly unhappy with uh, the expansion of Rockville Road. Indiana State Senator J.D. Ford represents people who live along Rockville Road and says residents are worried more lanes will mean less safety. They honestly believe that when you expand the lanes, it is going to be like uh, an extra addition to the motor speedway, that people are going to be zooming down Rockville Road. INDOT issued a statement which said in part, Making Rockville Road safer for motorists, pedestrians, and bicyclists is INDOT's top priority. The improvements developed by project engineers will reduce crashes in the area by nearly 40 percent. They won't stop rearing crashes. They'll just be one more lane having rearing crashes. And this coming Wednesday, these concerned residents will have a chance to meet with INDOT during a public meeting where they'll bring up all the issues that they have. On the west side, Emily Longnecker, 13 News. Severe winds are still a threat at times. We're gusting over 40 miles per hour right now, and that high wind warning goes until 1 a.m.